But I'm back, guys, to Fog Racing. We're here with the practice report, review, whatever you want to call it. I don't really know. Right, we're going to um, we'll go through practice two, and then we'll do I'll do a quick recap of practice one in a minute. But yes, in practice two here, Hamilton, Febot, Asfield, Leclerc, Ocon, Alonso, Gasly, Shinoda, Sainz, Verstappen, Perez, Fettel, Norris, Giovinazzi, Stroll, Ricardo, Raikkonen, Russell, Latifi. Schumacher, and uh, everyone's favourite driver, Nikita Mazepin, down at the bottom. That's a shocker, isn't it? That is a fucking shock. Fettel won this session in my books. F1's getting like football. You get all these people that don't have a fucking clue what they're talking about. Commenting like, you know, is this a meme or what does, I mean, you can clearly tell. Load of shite. Anyway, um, yeah, I mean, obviously it looks like Merck on paper are the quickest car, but I don't, I mean, you can't look too much into it. I mean, Red Bull are nowhere on the timing st stats, but they're not going to be 9th and 10th come qualifying. Max is going to be in amongst the Mercedes, you know. Perez, alright, Perez, you never know with the second Red Bull seat, but he'll be around 4th, you know. He's not Albon, he's not going to be out in Q1. For example, um, but in terms of who's behind them, you know, it looks like Ferrari, I think, are definitely the third fastest car. Then I'd say Alpine are fourth. But then McLaren, I think there's a lot more to come from McLaren, you know. So they're pro, I mean, they could be faster than Alpine, but you never know. But now you know, right, that Red Bull. Or sandbagging, or just didn't get a lap together. Look where Alpha Tori are. Alpha Tori are four tenths off Mercedes. Now I get it, the gap between Mercedes and Alpha Tori will be bigger come qualifying. But there's no way, you know, there's no way Red Bull are going to be behind Alpha Tori on pace, on pure pace. No chance. So people just, like, you're almost into the Sky broadcast, you get Button. I like Button, you know. Simon Laser, but like, they're fucking making out of. This is a disaster for Red Bull. You see, if Mercedes were down in 9th and 10th and Red Bull were 1-2, I wouldn't think anything of it. The same, I don't think any of it, of it here. Obviously, you would prefer to be higher up because it looks better, but it looks better. The race pace, the Red Bull and Mercs were exactly the same. You know? That's the way the cookie crumbles, guys. And, um, yeah, Alpine looks like uh, the Portuguese Grand Prix wasn't just a fluke, so that's good to see. Alonso will be up there as home Grand Prix, same way Ocon, and uh, yeah, it looks like, you know, it'd be great to see Alonso get one more podium, I think he will this season, I think easily he will, you know, and well, I say one more podium, I mean, fuck, with the regulations next year, the guy could be winning a title, <laughs> potentially, I think, I mean, I wouldn't say title's out of the question, but, you know, especially next season, like, Alonso could be winning the odd race here and there. I mean, we don't even know what's going to happen next season. I just hope, you know, next season there is the potential for, like, most cars on the grid to be able to win a race. I really hope there is. But anyway, guys, that is it for your practice report. And, um, yeah, I'll quickly go... I'll scroll down to FP1. What is it? Uh, da, da, da. here we go. See, you know what I mean? These times completely all over the place. Alpine looking nowhere, but then you, you, you know what I mean? You go into Hangy and then they're right there, and McLaren looking decent. But I, I don't know. I mean, and then Aston Martin look higher up, you know. FP2 is definitely more representative in my opinion. But anyway, guys, leave your thoughts down below. And until next time, peace.